Well, welcome guys, and welcome to a new Let's Play. This is of course the original Spyro the Dragon for the PlayStation 1. Now, I have very I have very happy memories of this game. This was one of my very first PlayStation 1 games. Oh yeah, so I played this quite a lot when I was younger. I also remember I, I played a lot of the third game, Year of the Dragon, but I didn't actually get Ripto's Rage until recently, which is kind of strange. But whatever, I still... The first game is still easily my favorite. Alright, so we are going to go ahead and start a new game. So let's get right to it. In the world of dragons. Okay, rolling. Oh, it's been peaceful here in the five worlds, or is it six? For a dragon's age. We now have 12,000 treasure, or is it 14,000? Yeah. What about this Ganasty Gnort character? Now, I understand he's found a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. I'll take that question. Nasty Nork is a simple creature. Fimbo. He has been contained in a remote world and is no threat to the Dragon Kingdom. No threat! Besides, he is ugly. Ugly? That does it! Uh oh. Now look what you've done. Looks like I've got some things to do. Looks like you do, Spyro. You just had to go and antagonize the guy, didn't you? The adventure begins. So yes, that was Nasty Nork. If Maybe if the dragons hadn't have been antagonizing him, maybe he wouldn't have turned them all into statues and stolen all their treasure. Alright, uh, I'm gonna turn the sound effects down a little bit and the music volume. I'm gonna set the camera to active, I think, because I don't think there are actual camera controls in this game. Oh, wait, there we go. Okay, it's the L2 and R2 button. It's going to take me a bit to get used to the controls because they're a little different from Spyro 2 and 3. And for whatever reason, there's like a dodge roll in this game, which there's never really a use for. Anyway, let's save our first dragon right in front of us. Nestor. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Free ten dragons in the artisan world. Then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. What about Nasty Nork? I'm going after him. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. Okay, so we have our objective. We need to be rescuing dragons. And getting back our stolen treasure, of course. Yeah, I just... This is bringing back so many memories of, that I had of this when I was a, a child. What are you doing there, Spyro? Here's Delvin the dragon. Where's Nasty Nork? I'll torch him. Keep your horns on, Spyro! You have much to learn first. Do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing? Um... His name is Sparks, and he's helping and protecting you. Keep an eye on him and see what I mean. Ah yes, yeah, so we are protected by a dragonfly called Sparks. Now he has varying colors depending on how much damage you've taken. I believe Spyro can take three hits before Sparks is gone, and then after that Spyro is killed if he gets hit one more time. He Sparks will change from yellow to blue to green, and then he disappears after that, when, after he, if you get hit when he's green. Sparks will also pick up nearby treasure for you. Alright, we'll take care of this guy. Get back the treasure. And you're out of here. But one thing that's kind of cool is that in this game, Spyro was voiced by... I can't think of his name, but he voiced Rocco in Rocco's Modern Life. So he's a pretty cool dude. Right, let's climb up this platform. Get some more treasure. Oops. And I have to get used to this camera. It's all over the place. <laughs> I wasn't even chasing him and he was hiding. Silly guy. There we go. 
Alright, so before we go to any of the stages, I'm gonna make sure I collect all of the treasure that's in this area. Bonk. Ow. Ah, now that's an extra life. Get back here. Gotcha. So that's a stage portal right there, but we're not going to go in it just yet. So yeah, the different colors denote different... Uh, the different colors of the treasure denote what value they are. Red ones are worth one, green are worth two, blue are five, yellow are ten... Uh, and I think there's a purple one that's worth 25. Those are pretty rare. Okay, cool. We made it to that platform. Now, if you if Spyro gets hurt, you can torch one of these small animals around here. It'll produce a butterfly. But we're at full health at the moment, so Sparks doesn't need to eat the butterfly. But just keep that in mind if you do get hurt. Ooh, another dragon. This is Thomas. Hey, Spyro! Press the jump button twice to glide. And, and don't be afraid. Afraid? Of what? Falling from high mountain peaks? Plummeting into prehistoric glaciers? Oh, that. Oh. Nothing to worry about at all. But yes, we I already knew how to glide, but thank you. Here's a couple more pieces of treasure. There's another thief. Gotcha. Should be some treasure behind these pillars. Yep. Yeah, I believe there should be 100 pieces of treasure total from this area. Now that's a whirlwind. That'll take us up to the next area. There's another stage that we're not going to enter yet. We will, however, jump to these platforms for more treasure. Then we'll go back up and drop down the other side. Seventy five percent of the treasure collected. Here's another dragon to save Argus. Cool flash, do that again. The artisan's boss is through a portal in the dragon mouth, but you are not yet ready, Spyro. First, you must complete one of the other artisan lands. Okay. <clears throat> so basically that's the boss stage, but we can't take it on just yet. And that's okay. Yeah, you see how Sparks is picking up the treasure for us? It's kind of handy. Alright, that's 100 treasure collected. Now that guy right there was a balloonist. He'll offer to take you to other worlds, but only once you fulfill the requirements needed to go to the next world, basically. Alright, so, right over here is a secret. Oh, and for the record, these things here are like, consider them like checkpoints every time you save a dragon. If you happen to die, then you'll respawn at whatever one you touched last. But yeah, there's a secret here. Let's land on all the platforms. Ta-da! So welcome to Sunny Flight. Now this stage is different from the other regular stages. Basically we're going to be flying through and we have to either like torch things or fly through rings. Stuff like that. Get all of these trains first. 
There we go. Oops, missed that point. That's all the planes taken care of. I will fly through these arches. Oops, and I hit the water, so we're gonna have to start over. Again. One more after this dude. to start that over. That, all, that got all of the chests from this area. It's I isolated from all the others, so that's why it was harder to find. Where is that? Okay, there. So there's all the trains, all of the treasure chests. Let's get the planes. Get back here. Okay, now for the arches. <coughs> There we go, just did it. Probably not the best way to do that stage, but at least we did it. Now for every one that you fully complete, you get gems for. And if you could do it, if you manage to get all, all of the items completed in one go, that's how you get the most amount of treasure from the stage. 
No, I do not want to try again. Alright, so we got all the treasure from that flight. Let's take on the first actual stage of this world. For the record, after you've killed an enemy, if you kill them again after they respawn, they drop these little orbs. If you manage to get all the orbs surrounding Spyro's head, you'll get another extra life. Alright, so the first stage is called Stone Hill. By the way, there's treasure right behind us. Oops, missed one. We rammed the ram there. Ow. It looks like... Oh, there's another ram. So there's Gavin the dragon. Watch the dragonfly, Spyro. His color indicates his power. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong. Like me. Uh, sure. <laughs> you didn't sound too convinced there, Spyro. But yeah, there was a dragon, and there's also a locked treasure chest. We're gonna have to find the key first before we can open it. Let's head to the left first. Now these things here are metal chests. You can't torch them because it absorbs the heat. But you can ram through them. Enemies can wear metal armor as well. So we'll have to keep an eye out for them. Lindar. When you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're saving your progress. That could be useful if you run into trouble. Not that you ever run into trouble, Spyro. Of course not. Not us. Okay, let's go. We'll explore down here next. Good, another extra life for us. And here's another dragon. Astor. After you freed all the dragons, pass through this fancy vortex uh, thingamajigger. It'll take you back to the artisan home. But first, let me tell you a story. No thanks. See ya. <laughs> Didn't want to hear the old guy's story, huh, Spyro? So yeah, that's the portal home. We don't want to go in there just yet. But, however, if we jump over this ledge, there is a little secret. Ah, it's the key that we need for that chest. Which looks very similar to the keys from Crash Bandicoot. Which makes sense because I think that Spyro the Dragon and Crash Bandicoot shared a lot of uh, assets together between Naughty Dog and Insomniac. The two teams used to be really close, but I don't think they have been in recent years. Kind of a shame. Oh yeah, we have the key. We can open up that locked chest now. Let's go, go do just that. Treasure! Thank you very much. Alright, one more area to explore, and that's off to the right. Here's a different enemy type, these like shepherds. It's for the best to just torch them rather than try to ram them, because otherwise there's a good chance they might whack you with their stick. You don't want to get whacked. Gotcha. 
there's treasure up on that ledge, but we can't get to it from this angle. Looks like that's it on the ground level. So let's head up. Guild us. Sparrow, my friend, how about a hint on gliding? You bet. For the longest glide, press the X button at the top of a jump and try pressing the triangle button to drop down in mid-flight. Okay, thanks. Something I miss from Spyro 2 and 3, though, is like the little flutter that you can get at the end of a, a glide. That wasn't a thing in this game, not until Spyro 2. Got you a little extra height at the end of your glide. But no matter, we'll live without it. Right, now these things here are basically a, a barrier to keep you from going outside of the boundary of the world. I'm pretty sure our first egg thief of the game is around here. Usually, oh, yep, there he is. If you can't see him, usually you can hear their telltale, nah, 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 nah. So let's get him. Get back here. Turned on me, you cheeky little whatever. Not even sure what they're supposed to be. All right, so we got our first dragon egg back. There is some some treasure scattered around on, up on this level, so let's just look for that real quick. Mostly just like singles and stuff though, but we will need to get them anyway. Might as well do it now. Two p oh, wait, nope, there it is. Haha, -ha, and that should be it. Let's just check real quick. Yep, for Stone Hill, we got the egg back, we got all the treasure, and all the dragons rescued. Alright, so now we can leave this level. Let's return home. I think the next stage we'll go to is over this way. These guys also have a chance of dropping extra lives now that we've gotten all the treasure back from them, too. Okay, Town Square. Chickens! Never mind about that. Let's start collecting treasure. Nils. Welcome to Town Square, Spyro. Begin exploring by gliding to that area with the bulls. Use the L2 and R2 buttons to get a good look. Okay, thanks, dude. Ooh, bulls. What a load of bull. Now, this is an interesting treasure chest. Torch it, and the gem will pop out from the top. You have to catch it before it goes back in, or you have to try again. Let's glide over this way. Your life, not bad. And 
This is Devlin. Thanks, Pyro. <laughs> I had the worst itch on the tip of my wing. <laughs> Did you know that you get your longest glides by pressing X at the very top of your jump? Yes, we just heard that a moment ago. But thank you, I guess. <laughs> he was just like a matador. These enemies are goofy. Sorry, chickens, I was trying to get the treasure. Toro! This is Alvar. <laughs> Spyro, did you see a man dressed in blue running around here? He's a thief, and he's stolen a dragon egg. You've got to track him down and, and get that egg. Run, run. <laughs> I'm getting a little winded. <laughs> Calm down there, dragon. Can't be good for your blood pressure to worry like that. So yes, there is an egg thief, but we will deal with him in a moment. Slide over here around the corner. There he is. Oh, we got him pretty easily, actually. There's Dragon Egg number two. Now we can just calmly collect the treasure from around here. Oh, crap. Well, we're dead. Maybe I'll change the camera back. I'm not sure if that active camera is actually helping me or not. So we'll just set it to passive. We already dealt with you. Gem for ten, uh, ten total. Is that it? Yep, that's all the treasure for this for this stage. And we rescued four. Thank you for releasing me. You're welcome. Got the egg, got all the treasure, and all the dragons. We're out of here. Not bad. 